when they're presented with a whole stack of debts that it's very easy and very understandable that clients will shut down. They don't want to open their mail anymore. They don't want to answer the phone anymore. They're scared. They'll have debt collectors chasing them, energy companies saying, you know, why have you paid this? They're worried about this connection. And they, they adopt the, I think, incredibly understandable approach of I'm just going to stick my hand in the sand and hope it all goes away. Once they've come to me and we can just talk in a calm and measured way that we can take away the shame. Um, there's so much shame around debt and it's so understandable. I think people living with HIV are struggling in particular because they tend to have very expensive medical bills. I know HIV drugs are paid for uh, directly by the government, but a lot of our clients have other issues. They're struggling with mental health, um, some of them have been disowned by their families. It means that they are seeking services for which they're having to pay for that our average, the average Joe does not. Um, and medical bills are huge. I have a client recently, he came to me with a whole stack of buy now, pay later debts. They thought bankruptcy was the answer. And I talked to them about what options they had other than bankruptcy. So we might we, we talked about debt waivers, we talked about repayment plans. We've now had the vast majority of those buy now pay later debts waived. And the client is looking forward to setting up some spend and splurge accounts where they can do the things they would have done with buy now pay later, but they make sure they've got that money in that account first. And that's incredibly empowering and this person's self-esteem is off the chart now. Um, it's, it's wonderful to see.